Adam and Eve had to learn to live without God's close help. They planted seed and waited for the grain and fruit to grow. They built a house to protect them from the heat and the rain. Then Eve had a baby boy and they called him Cain. Later, Eve had another son and she called him Abel. He also grew strong, but instead of working in the fields, he became a shepherd. They looked after the animals that Adam and Eve had kept for milk and wool. Finally, everything seemed to be going well. Both sons washed and prepared their food. Hi Cain, what are you doing with all that food? Some is for dinner and some is for God. Ah, now that's a very good idea and just what God would like you to do. Hey, are you bringing in another lamb, son? No, father. I'm going to offer this lamb to God. I know it will please him. It is the best lamb we have. You know, we have two good sons. They have both taken the best of their efforts to give to God. It will surely make God happy. The boys are at home now, preparing the food. All will be well. Why should God get all the best fruit and vegetables? Surely he would not reason us having some. This fruit took me months to grow. Are we having lamb for dinner, little brother? No, Cain. I'm preparing it for God. It is my best young lamb. Why do you copy me? I have collected the best of my harvest to give to God. You give him your offering another time. Let me have the honor this time. I can't do that, Cain. The meat must be prepared straight away. Otherwise, it'll go bad. I think God will be happy to get both offerings. That way, God can have it all. All right then. But I think God would prefer my offering. Abel wanted to give his best young lamb to God. But Cain did not want God to have all the best crops. And God accepted Abel's offering. Cain, why are you angry? Why do you only stare at the ground? You will be accepted by me if you do what is right. But if you do wrong, sin is waiting to destroy you. You must learn to overcome the sin in your life. But Abel could not control his anger and was about to commit a sin. Abel? Abel? Come on, I have something to show you in the fields. What is it? What's wrong? Come quietly. Don't wake mother and father. Come and I'll show you. Okay. Cain, Cain, where are you? Cain, Cain. Not too easy, is it? Growing all this food for the family? Not like just sitting on a hillside watching some sheep and goats? This takes hard work. It's worth much more than your lamb. Cain, where are you? Ah!
Oh no, what have I done? Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Do I have to take care of my brother all the time? Cain, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now, you are under a curse. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> this ground is soaked with your brother's blood. You will no longer be able to grow plentiful crops in the ground. You will be a homeless wanderer for the rest of your life. Oh, God, your punishment is more than I can accept. You are driving me from my land and family. I will be hated from your presence. I will wander for the rest of my life, never finding rest. And anyone who finds me will kill me. Cain, no one will harm you. I will put a mark on you. Anyone who kills you will suffer your punishment seven times over. Oh. Cain left Adam and Eve and the presence of God, he wandered to the land of Nod.